thanks for joining me. I'm glad you could uh, check out my latest piece of work. This is a Civil War gunboat. It's a paddle boat that was used on the Mississippi River. And uh, there was a squadron of six of them built early in the war. And the Union used them to combat the war on the Mississippi. So I'm doing this in a monochromatic watercolor layout. You can see that I've done a pencil underdrawing. And then I go in and I, I basically use watercolor to, to get in the dark, darkest shadows first. That's what you really want to start with. Get your contour shadows in there. And you know, drawing the things that stand out the most. Once you got your contour shadows, then you can start adding other things. In this painting, since it's so small, it's it's a five by seven. Uh, pretty much suggested detail more than put in a lot of detail. And uh, you know, I tried to give it some depth. Uh, you can see along the waterline, um, I've, I've made the trees a little bit more uh, less detail, a little little lighter in color, so they don't overpower the the gunboat And, you know, monochromatic basically is uh, a study of values. And if you get your values right, then the piece will absolutely look right. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, we, we say as painters that value is even more important than color is in, in a lot of cases. But, um, you know, in this case, as, you, as you'll see, I think what your brain starts doing is it starts adding color for you when you look at a piece like this. The sky starts to look a little blue, the, the trees start to look a little green, the, the water starts looking a little, you know, like the Mississippi, it, it just, your brain starts filling in those colors, especially see that um, a little bit later when I start painting the American flag. But here I'm putting in some details around the, the gunboat and uh, you can see it's it's got uh, four guns on each side, two in the, in the forward part of the boat. and. It's set up a whole lot like um, the Civil War boat, uh, the CMS, 
CSS Virginia, but it, it is a little different. It's a paddle boat and uh, not as many guns. Uh, they were they were built fast and, uh, and very capable. And in a lot of ways, they helped the Union win the war. So you can see me doing the, the flag now. And, and for some reason, when I look at the flag, I see red, white, and blue, even when I know it's, it's not. But I got some detail going in now and get some lines and stuff. If you look closely right at the center of the boat, you'll see it looks like one of those big tuba things. That's actually a bell mouth. And they face the bell mouth towards the wind and it catches air and it forces it into the ship, the skin of the ship, and it kind of replenishes air. Especially as you're driving, if you go, you know, you're underway, it's forcing air into the, the spaces because back then they didn't really have ventilation, at least not like we do today. So here you see me laying in the reflection and uh, I messed with the reflection a few times and I ended up uh, making it a little bit darker and trying to get some waves in there. But overall, I'm super happy with how this turned out. I think it was a, a great piece, lots of fun. Really enjoyed it. Love doing the historical work. And uh, I'm going to do more. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. And if you get a chance, check out my page and uh, give me a like. And join me in the future for more of these. If you'd like to see more how-tos, let me know. I'll do them. Y'all have a great day and thanks for checking it out.